What's up guys, Main Man Sui here and welcome to Feng Wei or the Campo Masters 8 Minute Guide. Feng Wei is enormously evasive. Enormously evasive. He literally takes the cake in this game when it comes to that. He has a Campo step, backswing blow and many other things we're gonna look at. He also has quite strong poking and rushdown and he has deadly 50-50 mix-ups. They hurt. A lot. Problems is extremely weak in terms of uh, punishing at 15 frames. His hot kick is arguably the worst in the game. I would say it probably has the worst hot kick in the game. Uh, his uh, It comes as a package. You have to know all about his kit, all of his stuff. You can't really play him with five attacks. He comes as a package. Many, you know, many good moves, but very few great moves that can be spammed over and over. Wall travel and damage are also very average. So combo damage and wall travel. Um, and he's very vulnerable to characters sidestepping him. So let's just start with the evasive stuff. The Kempo, uh, back, uh, back three plus four. So what you do is uh, you do a back dash like so, and then you add a campo. So you don't do campo on its own. Backdash campo, so you cover a lot of distance. And then you can hit the two button to do a high, that gives 44 damage with your follow up shoulder. Um, let's say Kazuya is jabbing, and then he thinks he's gonna, he checks me and then wants to 50 50. Oh, I'll just campo. You can do the free option, I'll get a launch. Uh, the free option is minus 12 on block, but it's a mid, uh, so it will even hit people crouching a lot, uh, and it launches. Uh, Kempo is godlike. You'll see the Feng players, if they haven't done a Kempo in about 5 seconds, they get blue in their face. They can't breathe. And then they go Kempo. <gasps> they can't breathe again. Uh, so Kempo is amazing. Um, back forward 1, uh, instantly te basically teleports. It's launch punishable on block, but dear god is this a good move. Uh, and stuns on counter hit. Um, up for two, dear god, is this a good move. Safe on block, I mean, minus 12, 10, but the pushback is so huge. Yeah, I don't think even Gigas can punish that, to be honest. Uh, not, um, plus three, uh, knocks down on counter it. Uh, oh wait, it's hit from the side. There we go, super evasive. Uh, this move is godlike. Um, the king of evasion. Uh, and then we have, uh, a 1 plus 2, the Sabaki. This is an attack. It's minus 12 on block, a mid. But it has a built-in punch parry that launches. Oh, wait. I think you got a dash huh? Oh, no. There we go. That parry is insane. Uh, a, a great flow chart every Fang does is down for 2 2, which is his safe power crush. If that's blocked, that's, that's super good, by the way. Down for 2 2, natural combo. Uh, oh, not the power crush, I'm so sorry. It's his wall bound. It's one of the best in the game. But if it's blocked, they do 1 plus 2, and any incoming punch is going to get sabakied and they get launched. Uh, so that's super good. Uh, punch parry, back to plus four. You see the defensive utility is insane. Uh, and then you have uh, four free, that evades a shit ton. Down two, down with three, evasive. Cross circle forward one is known for going under stuff like Heihachi's forward forward two. It goes under literally anything. It's almost, it's bugged. It's been bugged for many years. Evasiveness is insane. Poking, down forward one. Neutral on block. So if we both jab afterwards, we trade. This is completely unique, I think, to, to Feng Wei. Uh, comes out at 14 frames, plus 6 on hit, counter hit, Kablam, plus 36. That's pretty good. 1-1 uh, one, one is really good. Uh, second hit, counter hit, launcher. You can do 1-1-2-1 one, one, one to try to throw them off. 1-3, uh, down back 3. Basically homing, super long range, low, launch punishable, but on counter hit. Super cool, super damaging. Down two, instant high crush, minus 12 on block. Also knocks down on counter hit. Of course, looking forward one, we talked about this. Counter hit launcher. Uh, down four is a nice low poke. Can I add a one plus two to try to throw them off? 
minus 10, so slightly risky. Um, and then back four, 12 frame homing mid. Minus nine on block bow, but still very good. Very good. Uh, Ford Ford free, like what? Plus eight on block. Uh, launches on counter it for 36 damage. It's very slow though, but on hit or on block, it's a win. Good Oki tool, to say the least. And 442 is his demon paw. Safe on block, knockdown mid, uh, really good. In terms of 50 50, uh, sidestep 4, launcher. Again, if it's blocked, you get launched, but you can mix that with sidestep 1 plus 2. Uh, plus 1, uh, so it's plus mid knockdown, wall splat. A very good move, very good. That's already a good mix, but you can also mix with down for free, which is a safe mid launcher. It just has very poor range, uh, like you know, some of uh, Feng's tools. Uh, back turn, back three four or forward four, that can be used as a keep out, uh, launching keep out tool. Uh, in back turn, you also have down free uh, for, for a low launcher. And then you can mix with uh, 1 plus 2 for knockdown, a uh, jumping kick for launch, or a throw, 1 plus 4, super sick, uh, 50 damage throw. Uh, so, uh, you have a lot of crazy stuff with Feng Wei, and uh, many other strings and attacks I, I didn't mention, uh, Kempo, Tornado. Uh, when you're lying down, you can press uh, 3 plus 4 to do a kip up, that one, uh, that launches. Uh, you'll throw so many people off guard with that. But uh, character has insane utility, evasiveness, poking, uh, he's sick. Punishment, 1 free for 10 frame, 12 frame, back 1 plus, uh, sorry, 13 frame, back 1 plus 2. One of the most consistent 13 frame punishes in the game. Hop kick for 15, again, poor range. While standing, while standing 4 for 11, 13 frame while standing 1, 2, 15 frame while standing 3. Uh, and with punish, a little bit on the slower side, but 4, 3, 4 is super good if you can get it to work. Uh, so that's Feng Wei. Uh, so experiment a lot with Kempo, uh, setting up his 50-50, uh, uh, rush them down with pokes, uh, try to utilize back turn mix-ups, uh, utilize the whole package, basically, to play Feng Wei. So how do you counter him? Uh, it's good to use long-range attacks versus Fengwei, like with Kalsia, jab for free would be a better option just to dodge, backswing blows or campo, all of that bullshit. Long-range attacks to shut that down. Um, and then uh, low-hitting mids, again, just like with Zafina, down for four is great. He has just so many attacks that crush highs, even mids. You, you have to do mids that hit very low, otherwise it just beats you out, it's just like Zafina. Be very patient, let Feng Wei come to you, don't run in on Feng Wei, uh, just don't do that. You, you let Feng come to you, lure him with some tasty noodles. And, and then sidestep 4 um, needs clean hit to launch. So again, if you keep some space away from him, it's like Paul, he's just not as dangerous. Uh, and check him with fast kicks. Uh, again, it's like uh, the setup I showed you with down for 2, 2 into punch parry. Uh, don't punch with all of those punch parries and sabakis. Check with down for 4s. Don't punch, otherwise you get launched. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, I'll see you, see you on the next one. Take care.